Hi everybody, Jason here. Um, it's uh, the end of October, and I just thought I'd give you an update. I'm over here at Discovery Kingdom. We're going to go inside the park today. Still no rides uh, today, but they are doing like a mini fanny, uh, family friendly Halloween event. Um, so I'm going over here to check it out. Um, and we're going to check that out today. Still no rides, so the animal exhibits are open and see what's happening here. It's, uh, no word yet, but I have a feeling they will do something for holiday in the park because it's also easy to do with the, um, uh, social distancing requirement, you know, the restrictions on social distancing, limited park, um, operations and, and kind of news in California. It, it is news, but it's not really news. Uh, the state of California, as some of you might've heard, have issued some new guidelines on when theme parks can reopen and what guidelines they really from what I can tell they really haven't changed from what's happening now I know that Disney and Disneyland and Universal Studios uh, are bugged because um, they're not going to be able to reopen though I did see online that Disneyland is opening certain parts of uh, California's Great Adventure or Great America <laughs> You know, the California, uh, the other, not the main park, but the other park for um, more in-person stuff. In, not rides, but dining stuff, experiences like that to allow more, draw more people in and give them more space. Because they've had issues with um, crowd control down there um, and stuff like that. But, and they, they did say that they are going to affects different parks bigger those are probably the biggest in california disneyland uh knott's berry farms another one down there sea world in san diego it's still going to be some time before uh discovery kingdom out here opens up their rides even though they're it the guidelines say they're less restricted for because it's all outdoors out here it, uh, outdoor attractions have different requirements and whatnot and um but the, the problem is still is unfortunately out here in Solano County, you have to move into one of the less restricted um, tiers for reopening here in California. From what I remember, Solano County, which is out here where this is, about an hour uh, from San Francisco where I just came from, is unfortunately still in one of the um, higher, um, more restrictive opening tiers. So it doesn't look like, unless things dramatically change, you know, where I live in San Francisco, we're in the... Um, least restrictive tier which i still don't understand how quite how that happened um you know it's gonna be like this for a while but you know and also it also not only has to do with that they have to get approval from the county health department uh to allow that to happen so yeah things uh things can change but as of right now nothing's changed and of course there are other local theme park you see on my channel, California's Great America is um, closed for the season. They're not even attempting to um, open at all for um, any type of events this year. No, uh, so they're they're finishing. I saw on Twitter they're finishing up their um, water park expansion down there, and it looks pretty interesting from the pictures I saw. So yeah, let's go inside, and take a look in the park, and uh, see what's different. Go take a look at the animals and have uh, some semblance of normalcy. And then there's the view from the parking lot. Very quiet. It's kind of welcoming but eerie driving off the 37 freeway and seeing that, but no noise from the rides. Walk in, we have Batman, which was their latest one. Harley Quinn, which is the Vince uh, red one over there. It's usually not working. Got the Superman ride there. Probably the Batman is my second favorite ride in the park after the Joker, which is the Rocky Mountain RMC coaster, the wooden roar that they turned into Joker. Come in here. See the Joker in the background? That's the one with the green track. Right over there. Love those coasters. Deuce is the one with the background. There are the light green track. You can see here you get a more thing. 
clean shot. They are still requiring reservations. For whatever reason, I did have to call in again to get my reservation online. But that was not a problem. I'm here at noon on a Saturday. There is the Medusa track. There's a good shot for this because this is really the only shot. The, all those areas where near the coasters are currently closed off. Can't get anywhere near there. There's some hydraulics. I don't know what that was. Let's see, I'm testing out the ride. Then maybe they do that midweek when nobody's in the park. But yeah, spooky at the entrance. <laughs> the Boo 2020 Marine World Experience. They did bring out some of the Halloween decorations from years past. It's kind of cool. So they have that's the dolphin show. We'll take a look in a minute when there's less people. Stage show they used to have where the schools come out. That changed the fountain this, this year. They do have a uh, photo op going on over there in front of this closed um, pop store over there. Oh, I almost missed this. Snakes the guy has got a life. Snakes on a plane. Care. You can have so much fiction, guys. So much fiction. Photos. You're never going to chase you down. If here. you encounter one in the wild, just leave them alone. You're more likely to get bit if yeah, you go and pick up that yeah, snake. And oftentimes it's the men that get bit because they go and pick it up. <laughs> if you hear a rat, it's just a warning, it's not a threat. Okay, just a warning. It's some not much for their Halloween displays. Are you okay? That doesn't hurt. You've got to have a splitting headache. <laughs> oh. Wow. Good night. Right on. Good night. 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 We've got three carpet pythons over there. If you'd like to take a picture with them, that's going on. I don't know if they're charging for that right or if that's here, free, but we'll go and ask. Social distancing and, all that. and if you have any questions about the snakes, please go for that. Or that's part of their photo pass. She even. is a rainbow boa, and these guys are native. To or a uh, little photo ops here. So down that way from the from the food court area, you can see the smoke off in the distance. It is they have scare zones? I mean, not scare zones. They have uh, picture taking areas. They want to have a lady down there to take photo pass pictures for you. A little smoke area that you can see back there. The shark experience is open. I'll go over that in a minute. Did not do that. I have a good reason. I'll tell you that in a minute as well. Um, but yeah, it's more Be careful also, a lot of those sanitizing bottles are empty, they're not full. <laughs> Tried a couple of them and they were not operational. It's also, oh, a squirrel! And Mr. Squirrel out here. Where is he? Oh. What? Oh, there you see Mr. Squirrel right behind the change machine. Hey, Mr. Squirrel. Oh, he went right behind the Coke machine. You just occasionally see squirrels back here. Right, right there he goes. My favorite rides in the park unfortunately is currently <laughs> like everything else currently closed this is kind of why i've not been back this summer is because it gets very very hot out here in the summertime at least 
100 degree days and if you don't have this to get on there and cool off yeah you're gonna be baking out here <laughs> it's too much for me i'm not used to that these boats here there's guarantee at least one or more people are going to get wet depending on how full your boat is um it does go under a full waterfall uh yeah so good drenching or two per trip don't worry to beat the heat out here unfortunately without it and um like last weekend we were having a heat wave out here in the bay area they um would have been unbearable <laughs> out here it's in the 70s today just a week later not to mention the wildfire smoke we've been having so yeah we're today is managed to be smoke free it's kind of the perfect day to come up here smoke free and not 100 degrees here this is kind of the top of the hill you saw behind me the toyota stadium is where they have the dolphin show and over here they used to have a bird show over here in the theater over here i haven't seen that here in at least a year even though they aren't having the um fright fest stuff this year you <laughs> confused what's fright fest and um what's uh, halloween haunt that's great america that um but yeah they have the spooky music going as you can hear in the background i hope i don't get a copyright strike on youtube uh so kind of it's nice lots of they have their alligators over here see lots of parents and kids dressing up which is nice to see normally that's not allowed but because of the coronavirus they're allowing that or so unfortunately that's the freeway you can hear off in the distance yeah those are no they are not moving <laughs> they don't move much at all anyways but they are live alligators very cool i have seen videos of the gator land that like they have in those gator parks in florida i don't know if i'd go that gator crazy but i'd like to just look at these guys sometimes That's a that's one of the more uncomfortable co well that and Kong. It's more more uncomfortable coasters at the park here. That's the loading station off in the background there. Now looking over here, this is their famous Odin the Tiger. And he's just crashed out relaxing. It's really cool. <laughs> I just was about to walk by and see oh where is he? And there he is, he's all crashed out and doing what tigers do best I guess taking a nap this is right next to the boomerang coaster uh, for perspective on that oh you can see his look you can see his paw moving a little bit his back paw he must be dreaming I said, this is not your typical zoo. It's more, or it's not Sea World. It's not, you know, they're not. Ex they get it you know, for your own green assault. They don't abuse these animals. They rescue and save them in a lot of cases. Kind of the story of the day. Most places are closed. Looking towards the. <laughs> Gravel and kids play area over there. This is the area where we were supposed to get our new ride. Let's take a look over that way in a few minutes, but that's not happening. As you can see over the fence there, they kind of cleared the area back there. As you can see here, or not see because the fence is fully enclosed. This is the area where they had the elephant ride that's gone building. Supposed to put the new ride in here, Sidewinder Safari. Signs gone. And other than clearing the area back there, there's where the sign was. 
That's all gone. Sanitizer station may or may not have anything in it. Look at our beautiful birdies over here. The macaws, I believe. Yeah, look at this guy. Oh, hello. Hello, beautiful. Oh, look at this guy. Hi. Hello. So are the scarlet and the... <laughs> Hyacinth Macaw. Sorry, I could laugh because I had been watching Keeping Up Appearances on Brit Box from Amazon. And the main character on that, of course, is named Hyacinth, and that's one of those is a Hyacinth Macaw. And of course, we can go to the other side of the cage than what I'm on over here. Just to spite me, huh? Hello! Oh no, he's gonna eat something over there. In order to ensure the safety of everyone, we're asking all our guests and team members to do the six. That's six easy steps to ensure your health and safety. Number one, yeah, we get the mask. Yeah, we get the two in there. Yeah. I'm seeing mostly mask compliance today. Number three, uh, cover your car. Could be better. Just say that. Just wear your mask and wear it over your friggin' nose, please. It's not that hard. Let's go around to the other side and see if we can get a better look. Here we go. Here's the other side of the cage. Here I just walked around. The other side. This is in the Java Land area. Which is the on the other side of the fence was where I was just at. This is the normally the kids area. There are a lot of little kids rides I'll show you in a minute. Because as long as there's no kids around. No, you are beautiful. Yes. Hi there. Pictures taken, obviously. <laughs> yeah. They like to show off a little bit. Top of the cage and all the way over to the other side there. I'll still pay attention to you over there. Yeah, there's the there he is over there again. Okay guys. Bye. Give me an idea. That's the, that's the Charles Play Area Discovery Theater, which is full for shows. They only allow limited occupancy. Normally a not shown because I'm not in here because you know I have kids so Back there is their, you've seen in my other videos, their bald eagle is back off there to the right. But, this is currently fenced off so we can't go back there. His name's Arrow and he was a rescue from back east. He got unfortunately injured and can't fly anymore so they take care of him here. For whatever reason, probably because for social distancing. And the bobcats back there. We can't go back there right now. So we're going to go over here and see if we can take a look at cougars. The wildlife kind. Yeah, you can see them way back in the back there on top of the rock there. Barely. <laughs> so we're over here in the nursery. <laughs> the turtle is out. 
actually moving around. He's awake today, so I'm moving his head a little bit. You have to pay attention because, <laughs> of course, he's a turtle, so he doesn't move around very much at all. Or he might be a little camera shy. Oh, he blinked. I don't know if you could see that. Oh, there he goes again. Hi there. I just like coming over here and see what new they have here. This guy's been here a while, I think. In the nursery. Bats are inside, but you have this little guy down here. I'm not sure what he is. Unfortunately, over here they don't have any signs as to what the animals are down here. It's cute. You know, our gray wolf is out today. Not always out. We're able to be seen. Looks like a big doggy. He wants to go inside or is looking in that direction. He's a beauty. I think, uh, Lucky what he can have here. Did, did I did I have perfect timing today or what? Just walked over here, there's three of them. But there's two. And off in the corner on his own. Uh -huh. Look, <laughs> somebody wants the attention. <laughs> okay, get away from me. Yeah, I don't know if I'm an animal trainer, I don't want to. Territory. Nice, this cage was empty for the longest. Uh, I'm not sure if these are two new rescues or they just transferred for different areas of the park. There's a little noisier over here, the freeways behind the fence, that wooden fence over there. Somebody came over to so over there going like, hey, it's a snack. <laughs> I think I get that, want to get that close to the guests, but these guys are like, hey, the other one's over here going like, hey, what, what, what have I done not to get your attention? Okay, hanging out, relaxing over here.
It almost looked like a minute for the Tigers were going to get frisky with each other. <laughs> There's some freaking last questions like uh, they do have roaming areas other than they don't sleep in that enclosure or the roller coasters don't bother them. They have space to roam around that we don't see. They do offer a I've seen before a before the coronavirus they were offered a like behind the scenes tour that you do with like a trainer for the day. Um so we'll do eventually. Make a video about that. Yeah, just don't be an a hole to the tigers or any animals in general. Oh wow, five, look at this guy here. Right off. next to the tigers. Separated of course. And number six, have fun. So do the six. Wear your mask, wash your hands, cover your cough, keep your space, sanitize often, and have fun. Together, we can walk all make sure by your, day your giraffe walk right by you. Oh, and the other one's over here. Hi, guy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Lee, and you're listening to the Six Lights Radio Network. Well, that's where he's going to be eating back there. Also, before this offer to feed the giraffe, but that's uh, not in operation right now. That's not available. Which also, something I mean to do. Kind of taught me what's happening. To, you know, the stuff I mean to, I've meant to do for the longest time here. I feel like guys got over there. which is kind of all in the same general area. We have another tiger. Where they normally hang out before they allowed them over across the way there, across the walkway from where we were just at with the three tigers in the water. He's like, I'm king of this thing here. You gotta ignore all these dumb humans over here. It's like, where we were a few minutes ago, that's the tigers over there with the pool. There's the lion over here. Is that right? I mean, the snakes are over there. And there's that other giraffe, which is right over that way. Like that's not part of the park. And this is the other giraffe here in the park. <laughs> and that would be my look. The giraffe was eating. For her, oh wow, look at this. They're graceful, majestic animals, that's for sure. Now, oh, would you look at that? Take a look at the snakes in a minute. Not quite as interesting as this. Also, there's another Bob's Burgers song about not, not afraid of snakes. 
for every time I see the snakes. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Somebody pointed that out to me. The one that was over here is limping a bit. He's okay. Why did it have to be snakes? Well, there's a lot of reflection on the sun and stuff. I mean, that's a big snake. <laughs> It's a python. Yeah. You don't want to mess with those things. Well, there's his head right there. Got one or two snakes. <laughs> one Mexican West Coast mouse. And this one is poisonous or venomous. You hear the rattle, you don't go near that where it's coming from. Oh, this guy's moving around. Try one beady snake with this guy here. Oh, wow. oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Your cousin has a bow. You're That if you have a brother named Bo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this guy here. Right there. This is relaxing, you yeah. Wow, look, at this guy's putting on a show over here. Hopefully soon we'll be back over there to ride those rides. Joker over there. You see, I have it all lit up back there. Somebody's blown up my phone. Hopefully soon it won't be not too long before we're back there. Let's see the penguins over here. Hmm. Let's see those guys over here. Nesting. Hey there. Somebody wanted to come over and say hi. Hi. 
Hey, hey there, guy. Or girl. Hey. No, I don't think I've had one come up and do this before. Yeah, you're beautiful. Yeah, look at you, handsome. Well, up and close and personal with a penguin. <laughs> Still here. March of the penguin. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Okay, bye. Thank you. Now you're gonna take a dip. Yeah, I'm looking. Top of the other. Yeah, they were. <laughs> oh, A little self grooming you know, over there. Oh, yep, there he goes. Oh, that's a good shot right there. Oh, this is cool. A little zombie photo op for the picture pass. That's cool. I like that. I'm not going to do it, but I like it. That's a nice idea to get your photo pass. Or your Halloween themed photo and still remain socially distanced. That's cool, I like that. It's a good idea. Like right here, they brought back some of the things like these are the gravestones. Back to the zombie photo op where we just were. And one more of the live actor over there for more photos. I like this, it's good to be creative. I like that. It's normally out for a fright fest, but I wanted to have it out where you can. <laughs> yeah, that's not. It's cool though. I like that. Try not to get other people's families in my video because that's not cool, but. I like this instead of the horses. I have human skeletons with like a half maybe skeleton in the front there. And that's it. That's cool. I like that. Okay, over there, I don't want to do too much of the little kids there. It's like a walk up treat. Tra it's this treat trail that's kind of misleading. You just walk up and they give you a bag of candy by uh, people that work, workers, park workers there. So that's kind of cool. A little something nice for the kids. Normally you go down that way to Medusa, Kong if you're fortunate enough to ride that, Sky Screamer, that's all closed off. Alright, we're gonna head up this way. 
to Scarecrow Hollow. Take a little walk through attraction here. This guy is definitely much scarier at nighttime in the dark with fog machines and whatnot. Photo op ahead. Here are kind of their standard Halloween decorations. That is kind of interesting because before years past that would come out like a jack-in-the-box type spring attraction but I think last year it broke so it's just been out like that look this figured pumpkins and stuff Oh, that's creative. <laughs> that's probably the scariest looking one of them all. Or different looking. So I guess this looks like it's about it. head back down the hill and I'm gonna head out and record an outro video hi there everybody hope you liked it's the next day here in San Francisco nice Sun actually came out it's a little surprising today but hope you liked my little trip over to uh, Six Flags Discovery Kingdom the marine world experience slash boo 2020 <laughs> it's a mouthful um, yeah that, that was interesting. It was nice. I was glad to see that they were able to do something for uh, Halloween. It was nice. A little something for the kids. I mean, and you can get your scary uh, little photo op. I feel kind of sorry for the, the people there. They're trying to do their uh, Six Flags photo pass, which they charge for. But, you know, those things are kind of obsolete because everybody has their, you know, their cell phones. So, you know... They're, they're standing there with their uh, professional cameras waiting to take everybody's picture and um, y You know everybody's just walking up and taking a s uh, Pictures of their kids and stuff, but uh, it is what it is. It's 2020 um, So that was a lot of fun uh, I was kind of a little disappointed in in just the wanderings around at Six Flags very uh, Well, there were a there were more people than uh, were here when I were there when I was here in July uh, two, you know, it seems like uh, they've become more relaxed. There's a lot of people walking around. Not many. Granted, it wasn't the majority, but I saw more than a few walking around who had the, their, their mask down around their friggin' nose or wearing it on their chin. It's a face mask. It goes over your whole damn face. It's not a mouth mask. It's not a chin mask. It's a face mask. You gotta wear that. If you, if you want your theme parks to reopen that badly you gotta wear your damn face mask sorry that's my rant for the day um and n not to mention the fact i went up to at least two of the hand sanitizing dispensers there the big giant what five gallon or whatever dispensers and half the time they didn't work um they were they were empty nothing was in there so, you know, you got to go in and, and uh, wash your hands in the, in the bathroom. So, if you can do it, I'm not entirely sure if it's allowed or not. I, I'd recommend to bring in your um, hand sanitizer uh, with you. They don't go through your bag at security, obviously, but I'm not sure uh, if, they, if they make you return that or throw it out at going through security at the door there. Uh, 
Uh, I also made the mistake. Um, if I have one recommendation for you guys, it's do not, absolutely do not eat the food in that place. It it was marginal at best before this. It is really bad. I had the worst heartburn from the chili cheese fries I ordered and washed it down with the, with the beer, which was beer was fine. Um, they have very limited. They had their food was not great to begin with. They have very limited food options. Uh, most of the places were closed. There was like three places in the food court that were open that had very limited things. There was like you get your hamburger, cheeseburger, pizza. Uh, I think at the, at the barbecue indoor place, which was you know, still had to eat outside. You have to. Um, they had chicken wings. I don't know how great those are. Um, but yeah, I would have get food anywhere before outside before you get in a lot of times you can um like i do i normally eat in the parking lot there's all kinds of food options there's um uh carl's jr's right down the street at the gas station right as you get off the 37 uh freeway there's some um there chick across the street um excuse me across the freeway a little bit as you continue up the 37 there's Chick-fil-A, there's um, uh, pizza, uh, there's all kinds of other options in terms of um, reasonably priced place D. I'm not sure the whether indoor dining is allowed or not over there. And it, it is Solano County, so um, I'm not sure what the dining, indoor dining is like over there, whether it's allowed or not. But yeah, don't eat the food over there unless you absolutely have to, at least until they... Um, uh, reopen more of their dining establishments because uh, it's just not good at all uh, so yeah hope you like the video uh, if you do hit the like and subscribe button I'm going to try and do some more um, Halloween themed uh, activities here in the Bay Area there's some more uh, drive through slash walk through attractions there in the city I've been trying to kind of avoiding that because those are expensive and they want like 75 to 100 dollars for a car and it's me you know I, I don't have anybody in my household to go with me so it's it's cost prohibitive for me to do that so we'll see what happens i did see there's one in marin county uh that's ten dollars for a car load to drive through so we'll see so hit the like and subscribe button i appreciate you watching my videos you have a great day and take care stay safe out there everybody